welcome everybody to another episode of The Paycheck, where me, Pay, your host, will be checking the culture. Today's guest is Edson Sabayo. Welcome. Oh, Jesus, checking the culture. Yes, checking man. the culture. <laughs> checking the culture. I'm checking the culture hey. with you today. You are a man of the culture, mm. if I can say so. You're yeah. you're absolutely a great guest to interview about the culture because mm. you're such a big part of it. Mm. But we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay. Um, how did your love for hip hop or hip hop culture start? What what made you love it? Oof. Do we have time? <laughs> in short, in, in short. short. In short. Uh, Can you make it short? short? No, it's, I always say like, um, um, uh, how you say that? Um, when you when you go to school, and then and cause we have different systems, of course. Over mm -hmm. here, you have the lager school, the middle body school, and over there, high school and all of that yeah. in the states, whatever. Um, so, lager school. So that's like elementary school, elementary yeah. school right? Yeah. Till 12 years old or something, mm -hmm. right? And after 12, you go to like middle school, yeah. right? High school, school yeah. High school, okay, cool. Then you have two things, two options most mm -hmm. of the time. So two options are like, oh, you just go study or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or the other option is just explore and acting tough and acting a fool. Doing your own thing, yeah. Doing yep. your own fucking shit. So uh, that's what I did. Uh, and with that came uh, a lot of graffiti and a lot of mm -hmm. uh, 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 hip hop. So you gotta yeah. think about now. I'm 12, 13, 14 years old, getting, and then, and then that this is like around 84, 85, 86 in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. uh, as you all know, and as probably uh, the viewers know, and if they don't know, uh, uh, hip hop, uh, uh, especially the art form, etc., came in Amsterdam around 82, mm -hmm. 81. So that's early. We're like early adapters uh, in general, yes. the Dutch. Uh, I think we're the second country in, uh, or second city or second country, whatever how you want to call it, <laughs> in Europe that adapted hip hop. Yeah. So it came real fast, but it was more like uh, back then, let's say 84, 85, um, it, just, it, 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 it just popped up. So you have to understand with like all these record shops were there, they were like uh, youth centers, they were like uh, radio shows, yeah. and then you have the pirate radio mm -hmm, shows, yeah. all of that. So you you know, so and when acting tough and, and exploring and just you know knowing yes, yourself yeah. or trying to uh, define yourself, uh, hip hop was a big part. I mean, like there was no uh, segregation already in hip hop, mm -hmm. so it wasn't like oh DJ. What they're trying to do, like DJ MC. No, everybody, everybody did. Everybody was ev together. Did, yeah, yeah, did yeah. Every, everything. So it was one movement. Mm -hmm. I remember, like you know, just walking through the hallways and rapping "Man Perish" or uh, "Mantronics" was really big. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The funny part is that uh, sometimes you know when we talk with people from the states or whatever, they don't even know don't, yeah. artists that we know knew or right. know back from back then. For instance, if we talk, especially with guys from Philly, talking about, we talking about, yo, Tough Crew and this mm -hmm. and that, my part of town, all of that, yeah. that was like 86, 87. They're like, what are you talking about? And that was big over here. That was yeah. fucking yeah. big yeah. over here. Yeah, that was here. big over here. Mantronics was yeah. big over here. Everything yeah. that came out out of the States, it was fucking big. Yeah. Because first of all, we had all the radio stations. So you had the, even the simple, like the Fetty Mod Soul Show, but also, uh, Daisy Bell Radio, oh, yeah, the yeah, Ville de Vero, yeah. the yeah, fake yeah. PPRO, uh, where they actually, you know, maybe it was one or two songs. They programmed some soul, but also hip hop. Let me put it, black music in general. Yeah, yeah. Then you have all these uh, record stores, Rhythm Import, you know, uh, Blue Disc, Pico, oh, yeah. Atalos. Yeah. They imported, so there was a lot of records already that people didn't even know, but they just look at and how we search for records, because I wasn't even a record collector back then. But That's how uh, it started. Yeah, because yeah. also for the viewers and everybody, mm -hmm. there is no fucking internet. Right, there is yeah, we did not grow up with <laughs> the internet. Is, there is nothing. And so, and so when you heard something on the radio, 
you had to try and find it. Yeah. And if it were those gems that were played at certain yeah. radio stations, yeah. you weren't just going to find it in the in the regular record uh, record shop. You had yeah. to go to the import shops. Yeah. That's how I found the yeah. music as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. found record, yeah. but also. Uh, you probably found it also was the, the tapes that were circulating the ta yeah. tapes like <laughs> yep. not the even yep. uh, battle tapes like you know like uh, uh, Cold Crush or mm -hmm. whatever not actually Kiss FM and uh, 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 yeah. WBLS tapes yeah. with the uh, uh, advertisement in it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, the, whole, yeah. the whole fucking yeah, thing the whole thing the yeah. whole thing in it so then you heard records like Abyss Marquee or like a Woudini or mm. Run DMC's or uh, LL early right Tila Rock all of that was you on would, the tapes yeah. from the tapes yeah and then you had to find them so well, like you said you had yeah. to go to Rhythm Import or whatever or you just had to know the them. spots yeah. oh yeah and from that on came also the the whole fashion and the culture because mm -hmm. You would look, you would study a album cover. Yeah. For instance, <laughs> like an album cover, you would study that. Yeah. Of course, then probably, you know, a lot of viewers remember like when Star Wars came out mm. on mm. VPRO or even like the mm. documentary later on Big Fun in the Big mm. Town. Mm. You, we would, that was, that was our Bible. <laughs> you wanted all <laughs> that, the, the stuff that they were wearing, yeah. that were using. It let, was, me, yeah. let me put it this way. Uh, the way that we talk about it right now, so excitement, that's how I knew that this was something that I wanted yeah. to do. Okay, I'm so I'm still yeah. like, I'm not You're still over excited, 50. Yeah. Look, how, still we talk, excited, look yeah. how we talk about it. We go like back yeah, and forth. Yeah. If you were a few, you'd be like, what the fuck's going on yeah. over there? <laughs> you know what I'm if you're not part yeah, of the it, culture, yeah. then you, you understand the like, passion. Yeah. The passion, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and I'm not saying that, you know, you should know about that, but this and that, but that's how we grew up. Yeah. Some kids grew up in the 90s or even in the 2000s, but yeah. still have the same passion. Yeah. And that's what I do. To, I just like now, uh, I see like kids, you know, didn't grow up, let's say, with a Metronics or mm -hmm. two, but they, but they grew up with, let's say, a Drake, a Drake or yeah. even with a West Side Gun yeah. or, or yeah. A, the spectrum is very yeah, wide. Big, yeah. So they grew up with something else, which uh, give them like, oh, this this is great, yo, check this yeah, out. Yeah, the same passion. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Same so, excitement. Uh, yeah, the excitement. So I'm very uh, happy and also uh, blessed that I can work with a lot of these new, new, new generation. Because that gave yeah. me also power, like, yeah. you know, to go further. Because most of the times, you People stay know, stuck in, people stay yeah. stuck in the yeah. fucking 80s yeah. or stuck in the 90s. They're yeah. Like, yeah, back in the day. Uh. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? But now, <laughs> there's a lot of really good you can do more you can, yeah, yeah you can do more and with the knowledge that we still have we yeah. can uh, uh not learn but just uh interact with the youngsters yeah. to grow and let them grow because nowadays you have everything inside yeah just google it and you can find it it's, it's, it's easier. easier yeah it's so it's easier but also maybe more difficult because uh, there's a lot more so yeah through the woods you cannot find the right yeah you have tree. to really have to really, really focus and dig focus, yeah but still actually it's the same it we is have to focus and dig too right so, and so yeah. so yeah. that is something that this is why i think you are well one of the perfect guests for this show because it's not just a, a hobby or a passion it's a lifestyle mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle and the way you incorporate it in, in your entire being, in your entire life is just amazing to see and it's very inspiring. Thank you. And that's, what, that's something that not everybody does mm -hmm. and maybe not everybody is fit for it, but I think you found your calling. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So, you know, ch going from hip hop culture, you were talking already about how the fashion was an influence from those documentaries and the, uh, the movies, even the videos that Everything. we saw. It, it, I mean, you we just wanted go, to be these people. You could go on and on. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> for instance, you know, remember that uh, the, your MTV raps, mm -hmm. the pilots were first the European version. Yeah, that's true. And then after that that's came true. the American. I forgot about the that. The European version with Sophie Lauren. Mm. They were like, so So you got to understand also that from MTV point of view, not as a business case, they're like, okay, we got this hip hop thing going on. Try it out. Now. Let's yeah. try it out in Europe first, how mm. this works. Mm -hmm. If it works over there, we put it in the States. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy because normally they would first try it out in the States. And then, and then, then, put and it then yeah, world. and then it would come over. So that over, was yeah. funny, but to be honest, if you, uh, you know, like, 
like you, mm -hmm. uh, historian, uh, know about hip hop culture, etc. Mm -hmm. Then you know that a lot of these artists uh, first uh, went overseas to Europe as mm -hmm. a Curtis Blow, mm -hmm. who made the breaks. You can look up all these documentaries. They're like, yeah. yo, the first countries that we went was like Netherlands, Netherlands yeah. England. Yeah. Those two, they went. Yeah. Later on was, of course, Germany, France, uh, whatever, even Croatia. Uh, which is big. I found yeah. out later. I didn't even know. Right. Um, my guy over there, but that's, uh, I'm gonna hook it up. It's mm. very kind. But uh, so it, it, it's it's just beautiful to see how it uh, went from a little thingy to now, to of course, spread worldwide. Worldwide, yeah. and it's the biggest influence in the whole world. It's hip hop. You yeah. cannot deny it. Yeah. In, in every it's definitely form, on top. In every yeah. every form. It's in, it's integrated in everything of society at this everything. point. Yeah. So talking about a little thingy going big, um, Bata. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it is it your was it your way of expressing uh, how you were part of the culture? What was what was the yeah, the main I, reason of starting Bata? I think the main reason is that, is, uh, that we just it's a hobby. It's a hobby. Yeah. So you gotta understand, like I have like four hobbies. I always say that, like when I do lectures and stuff mm -hmm. through, the, through the country. Uh, so like, ah, oh, I got four hobbies. Uh, so we can talk about hip hop mm -hmm. all day. Yeah. Like we can, all day, every day. All day. That's, can, that doesn't stop. Never day. ending can, conversation. You know, music, you know, yeah. all of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of that. We can talk. We can talk football all day. Football. If you was f football, we can talk about yeah. any team in the world, and, and you know whatever. So we can talk about that. Third one is we can talk about women. Like I love to talk with women because women is is nice conversation always with women. So uh, I'm really interested in how women think, mm. and et cetera, et cetera. Because yeah. I think uh, women uh, rule the world better than mm. men because they have more uh, ranges. Right, they, right. I think they're like very creative. And at the end of the day, they... Uh, they give life. Yeah, they, oh, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm <laughs> trying to find the word, they yeah, give yeah, life. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's very important to respect them, but also uh, see how women, cause I'm, you know, women moved. is the biggest thing. They, they can, their pain level is even higher, mm. everything. Yeah. Women is like God, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you. So, but, uh, <laughs> so that's one. So there's those three. Three, yeah. And then fourth is uh, fashion, like mm. sneakers and stuff. And, yeah. And, and, and fashion, etc. So we can talk all the way, yeah. you know. So all these other three I already, you know, did. I found my wife, mm -hmm. I did football, I just yeah. played for money also. You know, hip hop is part of my life. So, yeah. you know, that's it's what it is, yeah. that's what it is. And so, so came, yeah. the whole fashion thing was like, you know, let's start our own business. Me and Guillaume Schmidt. Yeah. It's like, okay, you know, let's start a sneaker store. And that's how it, that's how it moved started. Yeah. and started. And then now we're 18 years old. Uh, we have like HR department, we have a store. You're a whole, whole business, you know, a whole yeah. Business, a whole, you know? and, and a, a, global a, business. Yeah, a global business. You have yeah. multiple stores yeah, now on yeah. um, different countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is this something that you that you see was happening? Was yeah. that your vision? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, of course. And why do you think it's so successful? What do you think attracts people to wanting to be part of this brand? I think uh, I cannot speak about that for myself in mm -hmm. my point of view, but. Let me put it this way, uh, these guys, if I was talking in the third person right now, these guys are just s the same as you and me. Yeah. I, I'm also, first of all, I'm a fan. Yeah, th that's, that's it, it, a fan. That's you, myself, you, I'm you, a fan. Yeah, you act from you know? a fan and point a fan of view. And a fan with yeah. pride. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this, I love what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I love to go to sneaker conventions, mm -hmm. I love to go to hip hop concerts, uh, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that resonates with everybody that's like, oh, we're the same. Yeah, we're the yeah. same. The only thing is maybe I work a little bit harder or whatever. But at the end of the day, we're the same. I'm just two, same, uh, yeah. two hands, two yeah. feet, you know, same shit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we love it too. So um, people just yeah. recognize themselves in, in, in probably, in probably the way that's, you move. I, don't, I cannot talk about I think so. I think. It, in general, what what attracts a person to a certain brand is it being relatable to how they live. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the core values, mm -hmm. uh, and one of the the, the great values of Pata is also giving back knowledge. You know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. 
and that is part of who you are, who mm -hmm. Guillaume is, yeah. who you guys are. And yeah. if you resonate with that, if you relate with that, then you want to be part of that because you want to contribute. Pr probably. I think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so, I think so. So for yeah. people uh, have different angles to be part of us, so this mm -hmm. one angle, I right. think. But others be like, yo, this shit is great. I want to be just like them or right. even better than them. Let me, you know, hang out and see what's, what's going on. So right. people have different perspective on that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, uh, it's great to be, uh, be you know, uh, role models and leading a certain way that we can live and change the whole uh, spectrum. Or yeah. Change the yeah. whole uh, way that you think how it was back then mm -hmm. until now. And uh, like I said, we do it now like, uh, you know, with a lot of youngsters. That's mm -hmm. probably just rolling roll with a lot of uh, good kids to uh, make them develop and be better than us. Right. I always say like to kids or kids, young, the younger young, generation, the younger generation yeah. yeah. I tell them like, uh, look, pata is cool, you mm -hmm. know, it's cool, whatever, <laughs> you know, but I think that you can be better than us and better in the sense of uh, learning more, experience more, sitting on the table with right. different companies, etc., and then give that back to the, to the younger generation. So that they pass can it on, pass yeah, it on. keep passing it on. Exactly. And, and so you stack knowledge yeah. on top of knowledge yeah. on top yeah. of yeah. knowledge. So, and even yeah. not, that, not even that, yeah, knowledge, but also like the uh, uh, open, to, to be very open, right. not saying like, you gotta do this route, this route you need to do, this route. Be That's open done. for different things, different yeah. Different things. Be more open, like, okay, if you have a dream, a passion, you know, let me help you to create that, to, right. to, to, to go that way. And uh, instead of like, no, you cannot do that, you need to go that right. way, or the, why, huh, huh, huh. who yeah. is you? That's, that's what the older generation <laughs> yeah, yeah. used to do. Yeah, but They had a certain way of living, which is what they knew. What they knew, and, and that's we know logic, more now. and that's yeah. logic. Yeah. Logic, especially uh, back then. I mean, yeah, because back then we didn't have a lot of options to, you know, and actually live your dreams. And, and role yeah. models, yeah. you know, and right. we know, and we know now, you know, yeah. like Pata, we are role models, yeah. we know. So we're trying to uh, stimulate uh, the younger generation to be better than us. Right. And uh, that goes through running, uh, yeah. uh, the Pata Academy, Academy yeah. but also Pata as a platform mm. uh, to showcase talent and, and, and working with a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we're open. The only thing is it costs a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> Everything it, takes time. time. You know, if you want to do something right, you got to yeah. put in the time and invest in that. Um, what are some of the, because the, you know, you've accomplished a lot, you know, and not everybody is cut out to do the things that I do, you do, yeah. or, you know, everybody yeah. has their own journey. What are some of the goals that you still have for yourself? Like, I'm so interested in that because mm. it's, it's just, you do so much. Yeah, I mean, like, um, let me phrase it this yeah. way. When you reach the goal or yeah. when the goal is in place, yeah. do you automatically think of something else or does it come along the way? It comes most of the time, like 99% it comes along the way. I've noticed that. Of course you mm. have goals like targets like, okay, I wanna you know, establish ourselves in the future or as a worldwide right. great company or a person or whatever. But on the way, there's like different routes to go to become yeah. that or, or, yeah. or, or you can go you all it? kinds of ways yeah so we just look at it like that but for now uh i have a couple of things of course i just <laughs> of course we're doing the academy the part yeah. academy, which i think is very uh uh important uh, so at one point i just want to have my own school right nice you know back in the day back in the days <laughs> no let's yeah, say we're old. 10 back years ago no, like 20 years ago 10 years ago <laughs> i wanted to have maybe i'm still gonna do it i wanted to have my own um uh, I say that uh, senior uh, center. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. So for like, because we're getting up there, and I'm getting, kidding. Yeah, I'm getting, <laughs> we're getting up there. But yeah, how, how cool, where are we going? How, where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, that it age. would be yeah. nice if we could. Yeah. I could. Or we could buy a building. Yeah. And have like everybody that contributed to the culture. Yeah. Be there and have our own radio show. Yeah. Giving lessons, maybe have school mm -hmm. workshops, etc. And one fucking building. That'd be so dope. That would be yeah. really nice. No, I, I support that yeah, idea. Yeah, you know, but that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that was one of my early, early ideas. Yeah. Like early. It might still it happen. It might still yeah. happen. So I don't know if yeah. I'm still, but also uh, like way before like Pata and all of that, I wanted to be a teacher. I don't you know are, why. You are a no, teacher but still. I but didn't, yeah. You know, it, I just, but the only thing, I manifested it. So I was like more like, okay, I wanted to be a teacher. Now, all of a sudden, 
I got an opportunity at the host of Amsterdam mm -hmm. University uh, to do a lecture about Pata. Cool. Nice. I'm there yeah. doing the lecture, the cook, cool, cool, whatever. Like a guest? Like guest, teacher, yeah, yeah, talking about Pata. Yeah. So I did that. Everybody was like, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> you know? And then I was sitting there and I was looking and I was like, yo. So I went to the, uh, say, the promoter mm -hmm. the, who, hired, who hired me. And I was like, yo, is it possible to give lessons over here? Right. They're like, to do that on the regular, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like um, make, a, make a course or some shit. They're like, do you really want it? I'm like, yeah. They're like, all right. So we just started yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's how you get things started. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then boom, okay, we had that. And then in the course, um, you know, I'm just looking around and doing stuff. And uh, I get like, because it's on the, so it's on the half year, mm -hmm. on the, also Amsterdam yeah. University. And then uh, it's, it's a, uh, not a full, it's, how you say that? Not a faculty, uh, faculty. It's not a faculty, yeah. but. But uh, you have to. Uh, it's a branch. Yes, yes, yes. So it's like minor on the name of a minor entrepreneurship. Right. So people from all kinds of faculties can write themselves in and yeah. be there and they have to sign up for, it, the, sign up for the, the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign up for classes and then they're going to create teams and they have their, their own brand. Right. So, oh, so they can own start own, own brand. So they literally start yeah. their own brand and business <laughs> and, and they learn yeah. through the faculty yeah. 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 how to really make yeah. it work. Yeah. And they get That's like dope. guest appearances or guest coaches, teachers and, teachers and, coaches, and yeah. coaches. And I'm a guest coach. So I get okay. like five or six teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, those teams, uh, they uh, have to uh, do a video message to me, like, yo, I want to be my coach. A little blah, promo blah, blah. video, promo. Like, like, this is my brand. Yeah. This is my brand for you to, like, yo, I'm making cakes, this is yeah. my cakes, blah, <laughs> yeah, blah, yeah, yeah. blah, blah. Can you help me? And I want to reach this and this and this oh, that's level. That's cool. Then I'll be like, okay, I like this. Let me be the guest coach yeah. for a whole semester. Right. Oh, okay. So I do the whole semester every Wednesday. If, I, if I'm in the country, right. I'll be there and have like a discussion. Not, it's like a sparring moment. Right. I just call brainstorm it brainstorm uh, with yeah. them. Brainstorm you know, and so sparring. They can, yeah. So they can get more ideas. Yeah. And see what yeah. They, yeah. And see where they want to like, go yeah. with their heads and yeah. creating a, a structure for them. It's and whatever, but yeah. it's for them. They have to yeah. come up. Yeah, they have to do everything. I don't do anything. I just spar with them. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh, what do you want to do? Yeah, that's pretty like, cool. oh, you want to do cakes? Did you talk yeah. about? You know, uh, the ingredients. Ing no, not even yeah. How much money will it cost for the ingredient? Where do you get it? Yeah. Circulant, uh, you know, environmental, uh, how, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So Efficiency, I put everything yeah. in, okay. a, in a thing, and then they have to work. And every week they have to come with um, homework yeah. to me, and then we can discuss, etc. That's cool. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. So we was thinking about that blah. So I did that now for like four or five semesters. I'm doing it now. In the middle of this, uh, I'm looking at the school, and I'm like, look, these people don't have any clothing. They have clothing, but it's mm -hmm. a bit shitty or whatever. It's like, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I was like, wouldn't it be nice that if uh, uh, a university have their, like, you know, like Princeton or like mm -hmm. everybody, they are proud to be at that school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you college, know what I'm college, college wear. Yeah. yeah. Every, yeah. And why you, every, yo, everybody, yo, people are like happy yeah. to wear their jacket, wear the sweatshirt. Yeah, they're wear repping the, their college, the university. Yeah, yeah. yeah, every time, right? Yeah, yeah, In yeah. all these uh, yeah. countries, except for Holland. We're like, we oh, don't cool. have that. We don't yeah. have that culture. We don't have that. So I was like, all right, let's make that happen. And then uh, the people that I work at the miner, they were like, yo, this is great. But they have to box to the gray suits, the gray suits oh, upstairs. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what the fuck is Pata? What kind of yeah. shit is it? What kind of plan is this? Fuck it, we have our own thing. But they're like, no, no, sir. So it was so funny because the girl um, uh, who was uh, like fighting for, to, do, to get this project done, mm -hmm. she was like, not, not threatened, but she was like, okay, this project is so fucking dope, she said. If he's not gonna do it over here, I'm gonna send him to the other, to the oh, other, the, the she, UFA. She got, yeah, she, to the University of Amsterdam, the other, yeah, the other, the yeah, other yeah, university. Yeah. And the gray was like, okay, man, you try it out. <laughs> so we made like 500 hoodies and stuff, and there was yeah, a group, uh, it was a group uh, that, uh, that, that helped out uh, making it. And we sold that in like two days. Yeah. Lines, everything, yeah. the whole fucking yeah. thing. So the gray were like, oh shit, what happens? Yeah. So and they saw that it really potential, worked. Potential, etc. They were stuck in their ways. They yeah, just needed to have a little nudge. A little, yeah, a little thingy. Yeah. But uh, it worked out. So now we are now in the, this is our third year. We have the hoodie, uh, shirt, and we're going to start now for next season. We're going to start with, uh, with jackets and stuff. Okay, nice. But it's really nice. So basically, the idea from like becoming a teacher mm -hmm. now to it's, this it's a whole it's, your own little school at this yeah, point yeah, yeah. A little. it is a school within so a school. then 
at one point, my boy Kenneth uh, uh, from Southeast, uh, he invited me to do also a lecture thing mm -hmm. at, at the, in Southeast. Came over there, did the thing, and then he called me back like a couple of weeks later. He's like, yo, I need some t-shirts, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. Come by, grab some t-shirts, boom, boom. Now we're sitting like in a room like this. He comes in, sits over there. Two other people come. I'm like, fuck, I'm in a meeting. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. no shirt. What is this? The yeah. fuck, what the fuck is this? What is this? He said, like, look, at I saw you how you did it at the lecture. And all these kids from Saudis, they were quiet. Like, they said, like, shit doesn't happen like that. Yeah. Uh, he nobody said, like, was rowdy. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, nobody did anything. Nobody yeah. moved. It was like, you know, can let a pinpoint... Been so, yeah, dropping yeah, been dropping yeah, everything. Yeah. So he was like, yo, we need to do something with this. Uh, we need to start our own summer school. And that came the whole idea oh, yeah. with the Pata Academy. Yeah. So first was summer school, and then we upgraded now to the Pata Academy. And, and uh, you know, I try to get the corporate world to get involved oh, and have yeah. the whole discussion. So the corporate world with uh, our world mm -hmm. to discuss the problems that we both facing, right. not only us but so also them. So you can work on a solution together. Yeah, to, yeah. yeah, yeah. So now we're now working on it, and uh, it's this, we're on the second. No, the first. This is the first year of the academy. Mm -hmm. Next year going to be the second, and uh, it goes very well. You went. You, you came. Right? Yeah. You came, right? Did I? Yeah, yeah, I think so. No, you didn't come? I don't think I mm, went. I, think I still have to go. Yeah, but I don't know. That's so that's nice. Yeah, so that's that's going from your love for a certain culture no. to completely implementing also, it everywhere no. and finding solutions and no. giving back to the new generation. But also like, you know, having a dream. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first, like this dream was probably when I was like in grade school or whatever, thinking yeah. about yo, I wanted to be a teacher because I now we're like 50 years further. You literally I are actually a teacher. I'm a teacher. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And also like, oh, let's do like a senior school thing. Maybe yeah. it will come in a couple of years. But now I'm focusing now yeah, on I'm, having I'm my own school. That. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is like it really can happen, but you have to think about you it. Have to but have the also right mindset, mindset also, yeah. but also loving. Am I really am I really built for this shit? Right. Because it's really not for everybody. But also, you know, let's go back to, to community have a team you need support you didn't do this by no. yourself so you know have the right people um because just like you are now a coach uh, where the kids are bouncing off of you for their ids listen, i'm sure you had those people listen, i'm telling you in, without community that's why yeah. a lot of people are related to pata yeah it's a not even thinking about like my own team right like with guillaume you know everybody I can match the whole squad, yeah, right? Yeah. The board, people that are working in our store. Yeah. That's already like one big ass team. It's a family, family yeah. Right? It's a family. But let's take it back, like, not even taking it back. We didn't even know, like, uh, in the 90s, let's say, when we was at Cafe de Duifo mm -hmm. in Amsterdam, which yeah. is a very interesting point because all these kids that were coming over there, not on a week, daily basis, basis but, but yeah. let's say every month, on the regular, every week, yeah. on the reg yes, on a the regular, they didn't know that they were entrepreneurs themselves. Right. But it was already a community, yeah. right? Yeah. Everybody, yeah. you probably came over yeah. there, yeah, I was, I was there, there. Yeah. Uh, but you didn't know back then yeah, that, that, that you, was, that, yeah, look at you now. Yeah. You're yeah. doing this we're shit, doing, you know what I'm saying? We're all doing We're things. doing shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that is great. So the, the community right there, yeah. that's why I feel so very important about Café de Danfo. Mm -hmm. It needs still to exist. Yeah. Like it is a it's a breeding yeah. ground yeah. for, for talent for, and community yeah. and support. Yeah. Um, and that's a, that's a really good point. Um, there were part I was part of multiple communities that we weren't even aware of at the time. Yeah. And now you see everybody doing their thing and yeah. coming up and everybody's a creative person. So but also it's, what it's, you see is that Let's say where you grew up, those uh, places die. Yeah. Because people left, and there's yeah. no, uh, no, new, no, yeah, new no new yeah. stream of, yeah, of yeah, people, of coming, people yeah. coming in. Yeah. With the downfall, you know, not that it's going to happen, but you will see that you know it's shifting. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I'm trying. Is it still uh, the same owners? Yeah. Yeah. Still the same yeah. owners. So, you know, still Daniel. Yeah. Still, yeah. still yeah. rapping it. You know what I'm saying? Like. 
And that's why I, I cannot, you cannot front on that yeah, shit. Yeah, you can't. You cannot it's front. It's a very important place. It, it, it's and, like and a it's, staple. It's, yeah, exactly. It's like, it it's is. a staple in the community, yeah. yeah. In the community. And not we, we, we should worship them, but it's more like we should keep those intact because a lot of brief can come true. To like keep I supporting said, them. Keep yeah. supporting them. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is, this is one of the things why we're doing this show because it, teaches the history, it gives the knowledge, mm -hmm. the information for mm -hmm. those who may not know mm -hmm. and those who may want to know. Yeah. So uh, so they understand where, why the level of where we are now culturally and creatively mm -hmm. in this, this country or in this, this society, mm -hmm. why it's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important to understand that and that's why maybe people are now going to Café de Duivel mm. that haven't had no clue about it. Um, the younger people that may watch this may mm. want to see, hey, where is that place? No, no. I mean, it's, it's part of, this has to be part of uh, our history and, and it has to be documented. True. But still also what I, what I really want is that the, the, the older people, let's say our, mm. our generation, mm. should be more open for the youth. Oh no, we learn from yeah, the youth as well. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So, not it's like, you know, like we are uh, the the. Of course, we're the gatekeepers, or how you want to call it. But still, the younger generation has so much more than us. Yes, but that's my point. Yeah. Like, but like you were saying yeah. before, like you know, passing on, knowing better, knowing more. Mm -hmm. But we can learn yeah. from these new generations of how we can still. Yeah implement certain things or apply no, our no, knowledge. Yeah. I, I don't know everything what's no. happening today. They have so much more tools yeah, than we did. And probably some, some kids even know more about old school yeah. than we know. Yeah. And that and shit that is, is so funny. Yeah. That is very okay. true. That is very true, yeah. And that's why we should be more open, I think, for the younger generation to, to, to let them uh, flourish. Because like I said before, I want them to be better than me. Yes. We can talk about whatever, old school, uh, but I want them to be better than yeah. us. Every generation day. should be better than yeah, the one before of course, them yeah. in, any in any aspect, aspect of life. Yeah. 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 Here you go. No, but I if we if agree. we keep blocking them, saying like, nah, yeah. you ain't doing And not working together, because that growing. is that gap. Yeah. That is that gap that we're, you yeah. know, when people are like, yeah. back in the day, yeah. everything was better. Yeah, yeah. But it shouldn't be better back then be, it should be better today because we, we, we're talking about back in but it's even not back in the days yeah. we're talking about 82 right yeah it ain't nothing it is not it's that not, back it's in not, the day it's not it's back not no in the 1800s that's yeah. what i'm saying that's back in the day yeah that's true you know what i'm saying yeah. then you can talk about back in the yeah. days now you just for us yeah of course yeah. you know but hip-hop is still young yeah in that place that's it's, why i it's, always it's say, new it's, it's the new. baby still, and for yeah. us also uh, let's say uh, for, for Pata, we like people like oh, 18 years and then it's like nigga, yo, we just started. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not. It's, it's not that it's long. Not, it's, it's not, not that a lifetime long. ago. Long. We still live. Like when we die, maybe yeah. that's you know we're still in the same generation, yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that that is an interesting point, though. Yeah, we are still in the same generation yeah. since uh, since it started. And what I, yeah, and what yeah. I also uh, see is that a lot, of, you know, like how you said, like they be stuck, stuck in the nineties yeah. and stuck, not going further. They don't want to grow with. But there's also a lot of guys here yeah, from our age or, mm. or women from mm. our age that still keeps on going. Yeah. And that also should be celebrated and be, be more like a forefront, like, yo, yeah, still he's doing going, great, still yeah, going. Yeah, nobody's you know giving saying? up, nobody's no. tossing it and out. E and even uh, even if we have like houses now and, yeah. and, and you know, uh, Families, family, yeah. etc., we still keep on going yeah. and passing torches, right. which is very important uh, to so, do and learn from each other. Yeah, because I, I never understood why at some point in hip hop you have to retire. Why? This is a you, passion. You, this is a life. You, you, you do retire when you're you, dead. You tell me. Yeah, I, I never yeah. understood that you, whole. You tell me. Oh well, uh, such you, and such rapper is yeah, 50 years old. Yeah. He should retire. Yeah. You don't tell that to a Mick Jagger. <laughs> you know, you don't tell no, no, that no. to a James Brown. But let me or, put it this way: uh, if you're like a 50 year old rapper, no, you don't have to retire. But you can do different things. No, you but, can do different things. But you can but also just, still make music. But you can still make music. But the skills has to be up to up to point. You still. have to you have yeah. to uh, grow with the maybe with I don't the times. Let me put it this way: you don't have to. You don't no, have, you have to, to do just anything. Do, yeah, yeah, exactly. Do what you want to <laughs> yeah, do. We don't have to do anything. Yeah, do it as long as it makes you happy. Yeah. And don't do anything or don't quit because society says so. Exactly. That is the most important thing. Well, like well, I well. understand you have different passions or you want to do different things or your priorities in life shift. 
that can happen and maybe hip hop goes back to the background as a hobby again. But don't retire because society thinks you should. Or, I think also yeah. like, if it's in your you your cannot, yeah, you cannot you retire. Do. That's the whole fucking but thing. Do you understand how many times I wanted to quit and give up in this no, industry? No, but it's in you. But, but I can't. You cannot. It's, can't. It's, 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 that's a, and that's what I don't understand. Yeah. If you was infected, I always say infected by the hip hop virus. Yeah. It's stuck it's, in you. It's, yeah, you can't get rid you of can, it. You there's, can, there's no vaccine for that. There's no vaccine for that. <laughs> you can go left, right, whatever. But at the end, mm -hmm. you will come back to that same yeah. course. It's in you, yeah. And you cannot, you, you know, escape it. You cannot escape it. It's there. And I had my own struggles as a woman in this industry. Of course. And so many times I wanted to throw the towel in, but you keep going back to it. Because it's, it's not in me this time. Plus, not, aside from hip hop, mm -hmm. I love what I do. Yeah. I absolutely love what I do. Like you said, if you have a dream, live it. Live it. That's living life, you know, doing something that makes you happy. You know, it's, that's easy. You know, it's there, yeah, yeah. So going back to fashion, Oh. Um, what are you? Why are we now? No. No, it doesn't. Oh. No, these are my notes. These are my notes. Well, I, really, I'm just going think, back and forth. I these think are just, we, I think right here, we're still at the first one. No, we're not. No, I'm going back and forth. I'm going back and forth. I got, these are just some, some, some notes. Just in case. Just in case. Come on now. Leave me alone. No, um, going back to fashion, what are you wearing today? Jesus. Yes, I know. Um, Sorry. I'm wearing the pants, right? <laughs> I got some shoes on. Look, the, 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 yeah, I got some shoes on, shirts. The thing is, they, um, so I have, I have too much shit. Oh, I, I know, know you yeah, do, because yeah, so every time you clean yeah, out your, your yeah, closet yeah, yeah, and you yeah, throw yeah, it on yeah, your Instagram, yeah, yeah, I'm like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too it's too much. It's, uh, Look, I've been in your house. I'm a ho I've yeah, seen your hoarder. So, yes, you yeah, are a hoarder. I'm a hoarder. It's, but, it's, it's, but it's great stuff. For me, yeah, I, you know, I, I love it. It's my shit, but... Yeah, how it's do you pick much. your clothes for every day? There you day? go. I pick them. I just look at now. How I, long does it take you? No, it doesn't even that long. It's it's like uh, now I have a great system. Oh, you, oh you yeah, had my, to have my, a system. My wife built a new system Good. in the house. <laughs> She's like, I, right, I'm, I'm gonna take care of this, yeah. so I can even look even better. So it's nice. You I can see what find. You have, I can, yeah. yeah, I can see what I have now. I can find stuff. Yeah. So that's why everything looks very crispy and nice. But that's also a up bringing from our culture, like right. the Surinamese culture, Caribbean culture. Uh, I always say like, you know, Surinamese culture and also, and it's like, okay, you have three pairs of sneakers you will have. Normally mm -hmm. when you're young, let's say, one you go to school, right, one right. you play outside, one is it's for like going to, to family. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, dress up shoes. Yeah. So you're ready. So when you go outside to go somewhere, you need to iron your clothes. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You look yeah, always fresh. Yeah, you gotta look fresh. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it, you, you grow up in that sense. So we put that in the mix. Uh, so yeah, I, I, you know, I have so much, so much stuff, and I can combine it. Yeah, every so, do time. You, but but you know, I don't have a lot of stuff well, because I live very very small and minimalistic. Well, but I always resort to the same favorites. And I can I can't imagine with as much as you have. Do you resort to your favorites, or do you always it's, switch it's it faces, up? It's faces, it's faces. It's just like okay, right. this month we do all track suits. Oh, really? I can, I can oh, do oh that. that's that's good. Yeah, because sometimes you you uh, you play with your shit. Like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I want to wear like all right, let me this this week or Air Max ninety five. Right, right. I can do that. Or like oh, this yeah. whole month. Oh, let me put it, this whole year, Air Force One. You know what I did the past mm. two years of pandemic? Tracksuits. Yeah, you can do that. Sitting in the house. Yeah, track that, suits. That, was, that was pandemic yeah. oriented clothing. Uh, but yeah. yeah you, can, you, can, you can do that. And in, 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 I got in, lazy. And in, in, in my case, it can yeah. be like every day a new tracksuit. Right. Because I have, have them so, many, so yeah. many. So yeah. And I can imagine you get a lot of stuff. Do people still send you stuff to promote it, or to, or yeah, is it I mean, just like, literally like I want you to have it because nah, we appreciate it? De you. It depends. Uh, you know, it, they send a lot of stuff, but most of the time I just write them back like, "Look, please don't send me stuff because yeah. I have a lot of stuff." You need and an extra also, house, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I have. I have an extra depot. Yeah. Uh, so I said to them like, "Okay, just send me if I really want something, mm -hmm. or I will buy it." Or I send something like an email or yeah, whatever. Yeah, or whatever. But most of the time, I still buy. Of course, I still yeah. get a lot of stuff. But sometimes I just push it back or give it to somebody else or whatever. 
and like I said, like I said, like once in a while, I have like this closet sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just go and then, you know, sell like a lot of clothing. But most of that's only the clothing. But the shoes, most of the time, I keep. I, have, I like, saw that you still had like the, the pretty much worn off shoes that, that were favorites or, you know. Yeah, I got like, you know, I, if, 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 I, you know, if I want to, I can easily go for like five, six years, every day yeah. new pair. You will never almost see me with like a scuffed up or like right. crazy pair, like fucked right. up. Or even if they were fucked up, I would go give them to the cleaner and clean right, them up. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. So take care of, take shoes, care of yeah. my shit. Because uh, it's not every day you can have new fresh pairs of sneakers and stuff. Right. And, and you know, and I, do, and I just buy, I buy, but I also get a lot. Right, so right, right, right. So I just make a mixture. But I still go like... Uh, sneaker hunting or like I'm getting yeah. still getting geeked. in the conventions also yeah, when get you find it, yeah, something yeah. that you always wanted and or, I'm still yeah. getting geeked if I go to yeah. like the, the outlet stores or yeah, whatever yeah. or you know that's in you I cannot uh, change that so do you do you have a favorite sneaker or do you have a favorite yeah there's a couple or, yeah, yeah yeah I mean like the Air Safari uh, uh, 87 is one of my favorites of course but that's nostalgic shit because right. of Biz Marquis yeah, and yeah. his album and, and stuff but I would change it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're pretty I, diverse. I, yeah, I do diverse. Not even like stick to one brand. Right, right. I was gonna say that you don't yeah, necessarily no, no, stick no, to one no, brand. No, 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 brand. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, I do all brands. If I like a sneaker, I get it. Yeah. I'm real simple with it. If I like a shoe, whatever, I get it. And uh, so wait, what are you wearing today? I got 95s. Mm. This is the they look I, fresh, I, yeah, yeah. Thank you. But it's an ID. Because mm. uh, I'm just like, all right, cool. So do you dress wear. for mood? Because you yeah. say, well, this week I, I, I yeah, do nah, all, all mood. track suits. Yeah, so yeah. Mood. It's depending mood. on the mood. It's yeah. mood or whatever. Right. Just, I was in a great mood. Cause I was, no, good. I was, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. I was, I was running this morning. I did a good run. Did some interval uh, sessions. Mm. And I was like, all right, cool. It's like, oh, shit, I need to go. Okay, but I don't want to go all... I can go all out. Be like, oh, <gasps> Like the neck drop. I'm like, right. hey, let me go easy. Yeah, just I don't casual. Go just casual, relax. boom. Let me get a new pair. Boom, boom, boom. Lace them up. Dope. Let's go. So today for me, it was, what am I going to wear? I'm not going to deck out in all pata clothing. Mm. That was too much. I, I felt <laughs> like that was too much. So so I'm, I, I have respectfully put on mm. my waves mm. and that's it. I didn't want to do the whole full. It was yeah. it was too much. I was yeah. like, that's that's a little bit. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I, honestly, this whole pandemic got me to just only want to wear comfortable clothes. Like I'm, I don't want to wear things that aren't comfortable anymore. It's also the age, but I've always been a person that wears comfortable stuff. Comfortable yeah. and efficiency. Yeah. So real simple, if it's raining outside, you won't see me with a fucking, you know, like, suede, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> suede tracksuit. That's yeah. dumb. Yeah, that is stupid. Yeah. Why? Yeah, okay, Unless yeah, you have to a be flying coat. To, nah, to, yeah, then, nah, I, yeah. then I will get, you know, I get a fly Gore-Tex coat. Right. I get like, you know, and then different colors and right. different things. So I have like, always looking also at the weather. Oh, it's going to rain today. Yeah. I'm not going to wear low, you white, know, like I said. White, yeah. pair of sneakers. Dumb, dumb yeah. shit. That's oh, we dumb. live in the Netherlands. It's, it's dumb, it's dumb yeah, shit. We so, only wear white pairs of sneakers in the summertime. Yeah, or I can switch it up. I'll be like, oh, in the morning I can wear this, and then at, at, in the afternoon I can wear this. Right. It's also possible. But it depends on the mood. It depends, exactly. Mood, <laughs> it mood depends, you know, friend? Um, Were you a person that would get mad in the club when somebody no. you know, steps on your sneaker? No, because it's my own fault at the end of the day. Because <laughs> don't wear that shit. <laughs> no, in, in general, any no. type of sneaker, it doesn't matter. If somebody steps on your nah, shoe. It's, it's not there. It's not that serious. Not, yeah, not that serious. And plus, it's not their purpose. Yeah. Of the, they, they, yeah. They, they, they didn't, they don't, they're not going to be in the club. Oh, that's excellent. Let me step on the sneaker. No, 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 that's true. It's, it's always an accident. It's an yeah, accident. It's so, an accident. of course, yeah. I, you know, back in the days, of course, when I was younger, I would <laughs> right. be mad, like, yo, what the fuck? That's my point. And yeah. then you come into a fight. But what are we talking about? It's a bunch of sneakers. Then I got a thousand pairs. <laughs> what, do you, what the fuck is you doing? Why do you wear these sneakers? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to get them messed up, don't they, wear them no, to the club. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just get your club sneakers. Make, right. you know, think about that right. shit. Not be like, oh shit, I got this new, let's say, uh, Dior, Nike, whatever. Yo, I see niggas right. in the club with that. If people stepping on your shit, it's your fault right. you be wearing that shit in the club. Yeah. Fuck out that's of true, here. That's true, that's yeah. true, that's true. That shit, it will, literally, it will spill, drink will spill on your shit. Yeah. 
It, it will happen. Whatever you're wearing, yeah. Just think about what you or just move your ass into a corner. corner yeah, and don't do anything. And don't, don't, dance, don't go. Don't, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just think about shit when you got <laughs> shit on. It's real yeah, simple. I, or be like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to go all out. Right. Which I sometimes do. I just go all out, dress the fuck out. But I know that when I come out, it's like a fight. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like sweating. You, you already know the race. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and yeah. I know the next day, I will clean up my shit. Yeah. That's Think funny. about your shit. That is you know? so funny. Oh, don't um, get mad. Yeah, I, I've always been a person that buys, well, clothes and shoes to wear. Mm -hmm. I'm not a person that keeps them in a box and, and, oh. and saves them and, not, and likes to have them clean. Oh. And I got a lot of, um, um, how you say that, uh, comments on that. Hey, like, Bill. Hey. Well, not, well, I mean, I remember one time I was walking in the street and I was wearing the, I was wearing the, uh, the DJ AMs. Yeah. And people started screaming at me. Yeah, she's wearing them. She's wearing them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I'm like, it's shoes. I'm wearing my shoes. So I never, I never understood that. It's their like, problem. That's yeah. stupid, stupid problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah dude. Like, it's so weird. People do that, though. And, and you know, if you want to, if you're a collector, sure. But I like to wear my shoes. Collector. So, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Okay, going back to music. Yeah. Uh, the thing I like is that whenever you, you play, even at home, you're always so in your element. Mm. Um, do you have all your records at home? Or yeah. do you have them? No, at the house. At the house, yeah. all of them. How many do you own? I don't know. It's like a wall. A wall and then, no, that's more. It's a wall. <laughs> I got, you know, you I, got lot, records. I, got, I got records. I got records. Probably have, yeah. of course. Okay. Probably, I start collecting, uh, yeah, buying records. 86. Uh, that was my first record I bought, Curtis Blow, I'm Chilling. From your pocket money? From allowance. my own pocket yeah, money yeah. allowance. Yeah. And then and later on, of course, when you do a, a paper boy routes mm -hmm. uh, with a newspaper, yeah. get some more money, buy some more. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I love to go, you know, dig in a little bit. Every, let me put it this way. Every time when I go into a city, I always hit up a record, record store, store yeah. and a sneaker store. Yeah. That's that's the mandatory that is, that visit. Is, that yeah. is no. So now I'm trying to find places where they don't have record stores. Oh that, really? But, but, oh, I'll let, you know if I, yeah, if I, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. So you don't have to, have to have that pressure to go. Yeah, no, yeah. no, it's not a pressure. I mean, like it's just like it's, it's, in, urge. Your, it's, it's in your urge. system. Yeah, no, it's yeah. in your system. Yeah. It's like you know, wearing your underwear. It's net. It's natural it's for like, you. Yeah, yeah. wear your underwear, wearing your socks. Oh, let's go to a record store. Right. That's let's funny. Let's go. I'm just you know. Yeah, that's interesting. And um. Yeah, but so do you still get a lot of gigs as a well pandemic no. now? No, I mean, is like, it something that you still if, if somebody wants to book I play, you? For, I play with records, so right, it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get books sometimes, whatever, good money, yeah. but not it's not my, it's not my yeah. you know, my place to play is just still okay, that. Yeah, I'm just like having fun, I you know, know, just chilling. Or at home, I love oh, seeing you in your element. I'm, I'm doing raids. We're now doing like something with my man, uh, Black Ice, Legendary Ice. Mm -hmm. You're now in tune. We're going to do something soon, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, what I about mean, the karaoke? What's up with that? Karaoke. I, I never got an invitation. <laughs> I never oh, got an invitation oh, this, from you. This, this, this is a question. You put me on the spot, right? Yes. You want to have an invitation? Yes. I want to have an invitation. That was it. Okay, we can move on now. Listen, man, yes. I love karaoke. <laughs> I mean, like, since... Since you know, singing along with records. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, that's what you do, especially when you're drunk. And we did with Pata, we did some Asia tours, so we yeah, got more yeah, and more yeah, into yeah. it. Uh, when we had uh, a Precinct Five, the other store, I used to go to Japan a lot, doing a lot of karaoke over there, make doing business over mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you have to do karaoke uh, you sometimes know, with these people. So it was so dope, and uh, we incorporated now here, so we. Said like, all right, let's start a pata karaoke uh, commission. Right. So it's me and Denny, so <laughs> my cool. guy. So cool, I know. I want to so, come. So I want to like, come. Right, I want to. I want to sing go. along with the with and, the wrong uh, lyrics. To, together, <laughs> together with uh, our partner, uh, Craft Drinks, hmm. uh, we decided, you know, let's 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 bundle and and see. So the last one was the Halloween one, which was which was crazy. Everybody had to dress up. It was fantastic. It looked amazing. It was I was at a, home. Was a, I looked at it. I was like, I need to go. I was I'm going to hit was, you up next beautiful. time. It was, like, the, it was the greatest I party. It was just fantastic. That's dope. <laughs> so there's no new date yet? There's new. I will tell you later. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so going back to, inf you know, the, the older generation and the newer generation, uh, who are some of, in your opinion, some of the big influencers in the new generation now? Everybody around you. Basically, of course, 
you know, you have the, the big guys or it doesn't matter. Does it, anybody it, anybody can be, anybody can be your influence, be your influence. Yeah. influence uh, uh, for the younger generation. Uh, it can be a brand, but it can also be your next door neighbor. Only if you appreciate that one. So right. instead of like saying like, ah, nah, fuck him. I'm like, yo, what he does, that's dope. Right. I gotta salute that. So there's more inspiration around you. And I'm not even particular on names and names because I'm right. not. Right, it's not, just you know, anybody. Anybody, could be anybody can be anything. your inspiration. Yeah. It's much more close by. Uh, friends can even be your family, but also your friends around you building yeah. up something. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? And um, yeah, it's 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 fantastic. And just was also it's nice to see people grow. Hmm. Uh, this one guy uh, at the half a year at the university. His name is Benjamin. Uh, who I found out later that, because uh, he interviewed me also for his own podcast, but he had a, he made a business uh, out of uh, uh, equipment to rent for your podcast. Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's, when we talked afterwards, or did we talking about now, two years later now, he's like, yo, when you stimulated me to do this, now he has his own fucking, I'm like, I'm so proud. I'm like, yo, you doing all mm. this? It's dope. I'm feeling inspir- inspired by him. He's like, nah, you, I'm like, nah, dude. You, you, you do what yeah. you do, you know what I'm saying? And I probably need your help maybe along the way. It's like, yo, anytime, give yeah. me a call. And that's how you grow community and, 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 and people around you with, uh, with a good mindset. So, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's so dope to see that. So it can be anybody around yeah. you. But you should appreciate that person instead of like, nah, fuck that dude or fuck that yeah, girl the, or whatever. Yeah, the, the, there's room enough for everybody to win. To eat. Yeah. To, to eat. eat to eat, to at, eat at our at, own table. To yeah. eat own table, yeah. to eat and to have fun with it. Yeah. Uh, Especially that last one. Of course you can one, yeah. take it serious as you want to, but have fun with it. Have fun with what you do. Yeah. I think that's that's key and it will come along the way. Don't look around like, oh, his grass is greener. Fuck him. Right. You all that, that, is, that is that comes with the tools that they have nowadays. You have social media and everything. Everybody's mm-hmm. comparing themselves to others mm-hmm. instead of focusing on your own goals and grow, watering your own grass. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Has there been a time in, in your journey, mm-hmm. I don't want to say career, but your journey, your life, yeah, where, career, you, career. where, yeah, I mean, your journey, it's a journey, it's not even a career, yeah. um, you do what you love. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, has there ever been a time in, in that uh, journey where you felt like you were losing the fun and you had to really switch it up for yourself again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, how did you, I don't how know, did you I don't, do? uh, Yeah, it was more like, uh... I don't know. It was like not motive. I don't know. It's something. It was a, it's a phase spot. where you yeah, were just demotivated. Like, uh, yeah, some shit. Then I found it back. You know, it, it was really important is to talk with your people around you. Mm, yeah. So yeah. Uh, talk with G, of course, a lot. With my wife, Nika. Mm. Um, so and they always keep me motivated. And that's good. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm very proud of my team. Uh, yeah. I cannot accomplish what I, what I did without the team right. it's, it's impossible you know and not even talking about you know G and, and, and my wife but also my brother and Just parents everybody, and everybody in, your circle, in my yeah. circle yeah. that uh, that really uh, uplift me and, and, and let me do uh, great stuff but it, it cannot be done without them right so uh, that makes me really feel emotional but also proud and of course and yeah. I think when is this gonna air? I have no clue oh <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, you will probably see it. We uh, we was working on a documentary a long time ago. So the Pata documentary mm. was like in 2010. Uh, G and I we uh, we decided to do a, 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 a book. We wanted to have okay. a table book. Like, nice. you know, table yeah, yeah, book, yeah. Blah blah. But then we start talking, and it's like, oh, man, you know, Let's table book. Yeah. It will stand on literally on the a table. table yeah. if nobody looks into right. the table book. Nobody does. Yeah, it's nice true. to have yeah. a good table book with nice pictures and the yeah. whole thing, but you don't actually look at it. it. Yeah. yeah, right? So it's the like, information in it is not going to translate. Exactly. Yeah. So we was like, all right, let's uh, do a documentary, but let's do a documentary with not inside crowd who's going to film it. So not somebody from the fashion industry. Right. Uh, you know, but like just, just regular. Just a, yeah. Yeah. Regular, but just but we mm. with the hip hop state of mind. So we asked uh, Abru, a good friend of mine, and she's like, I I got Rikash Evil Media with Bobby. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, right. I know 
Bobby. Yeah, right. Shout Bobby, out to yeah. Bobby. <laughs> you know, Bobby Bassett. So, yep. uh, yeah. But that's dope. Yeah, so they was like, all right. So they was looking in, and we was decided, oh, let's do a one year, right? The mm -hmm. whole 10 years. Just follow everybody. Follow, and, and then do, make the documentary. The yeah, exactly. So uh, they started, and uh, every time it was like, yo, man, this shit is amazing. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of shit is this? This is a new world for them. Well, this is like our world, right? Mm -hmm. But they were like, yo, what the fuck's going on? Yo, this is crazy. Yo, Ed, we should do more. We should do more. So now we filmed it for years five, later. five years later. Yeah, but at least ten years later, over. like five years. You have to put a stop yeah. to it at some point. I'm like, yeah, it's but a never-ending story. But it's their movie, so right. it's not my movie. Right, it's their. You know, because yeah, I wanted project. to do their their project. Yes. It's not my or our project. It's them. They're directing it. They're the whole fucking yeah. thing. You know, it's their project. So. They did it, and then of course, G and I was like, oh, and everybody at the team was like, okay, it's, 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 it's enough. We have a, you know, <laughs> it's, it's done fun. now. It's done now. Do with it what Do you it, will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they edited it, yeah. et etc. Et and it will air probably when this comes, it's already aired uh, okay. on the video log. Oh, nice. On the 4th of March, yeah. 4th of March, oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. It's really nice. So people uh, start, go watch it. Or, yeah. or you already yeah. watched it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, um, and then you will see also in that uh, documentary, about how you know crew love team and love and stuff that you love mm. Mm. you know like you see that yeah. in, 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 in in on the movie and uh, how we do business right. and, and, and do stuff which is really interesting to see the uh, the background and not everything is of course all fluffy and luffy but no it's, you, it's, see it's really nice. yeah, you see yeah, the grind yeah, 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 you see the, the, the thing. real really, the real yeah, thing, it's really yeah. it's really nice so oh, I can't uh, wait to see it yeah it's dope it's it's, yeah. uh, it's uh, a good one and it's a, so great that um evil media did that um, yeah 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 Rikash, uh, yeah and those are, and, and and to to connect back to what we were talking about mm -hmm. earlier those are also people that i kind of was in the same community with yeah okay and no. we all grew up that's and we all doing things and that's 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 what i love you, you know? know some people are now a and r's at, at at labels and some people are now writers and successful authors and it's just everybody is doing something and that that was a little yeah. community that i was part of too. exactly and now it's time also for them to give back yeah absolutely think about a ways to to give back to the youth uh how to uh, how that them you know flourish to make it better to make it better yeah yeah us. Than us. yeah so it can be done in so, so 10, ten thousand yeah. ways. Yeah. Even a one-on-one -on -one talk yeah. can be something. Yeah. Or uh, you know, workshops, whatever. Yeah. Anything. Support comes in in a lot of different. Support your points. community yeah. Yeah. at yeah. the end of the day, because yes. we're like I said, like we said in the beginning, we're fans. To, we are from the community. Yeah. So now it's our time to bring the community in forefront yeah. and, and lift it Let up. Let them grow. Yeah. yeah. You know, and be better than us. Yeah, absolutely. Have their own fucking things. I think that is one of the the biggest messages that you give off with how you um, go about it in life, and especially not in this conversation as well. Mm -hmm. I think it inspires a lot of people um, to kind of round it up. We're gonna round it up. We're gonna round it. Do you have more to, <laughs> I don't have know. More to say? No, yeah, we can talk I mean, yeah, all hour, but you know, yeah, I gotta let's, go let's, too. Let's, <laughs> let's round it up. Let's round it up. Um, what is I mean, we discussed all these messages. I gotta ask it. What is one of the most important things that you give out to people? Is it what you've just said? Like, yeah. give back? No? You know, I mean, like, give back, but also love yourself. That's the first, mm, first that's and foremost. One, yeah. Just the, love yourself. Like, I you said it? Also, people looking aside, looking like, oh, what does he have? I wanna have that too. Ah, love yourself. Appreciate your what own, you yeah, have. Yeah, what yeah. you have. And, Follow your own pace. Yeah. Follow your own yeah. pace. Look at me. I'm 50 years old. 50, yeah? Yeah, next, like this this month, not gonna yeah, watch. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be 50, coming up. right? Yeah. 50. Let's follow my own pace. Now, you know, I will flourish now. But 20 years ago, yeah. I was just bummy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You were <laughs> and not I was, bummy. I was a bummy. Compared, that, to compared to now. Compared to yeah. now. Like, you know, tw <laughs> that's 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Then I was, I was 30. Yeah. 30 years old, yeah. now kids 30, like, yo, I wanna, if I didn't make it at 30, I was, I'm a failure. Nah, you're not. There's no age to There is no success. age to, yeah. of course. Yeah. So, That's uh, a good one. And I had to tell myself that a lot too, yeah. you know? I'm not, I, I compare the old, myself. It's the and, old system, yeah. you know how yeah. it is, because parents trying to make it a better uh, world for you, and, yeah. and if, at one point they'd be like, hey, listen, babe, you gotta work. Yeah. You know, yeah. So you know how that works, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
now it's they see they see that you're successful yeah. or whatever you do, yeah. like really do. They're actually so they, finally they, happy. Yeah, for what they're happy. Yeah, yeah, you know. They, as long as your child is happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But they they let you also go. Because yeah. there's also parents that be like, fuck that, we lock you up. Or, you know, yeah, you cannot. Well, trust me, my, that's a whole other story okay, about me okay, and my okay, parents. Okay. But, <laughs> but we're at a point where my mom does, still doesn't understand what I do, yeah. but she's happy because she sees I'm happy with mm. what I do. And that's the most important thing. But love yourself. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can't expect others to, to love you and be there for you and support if you, don't you. Love if yourself, you don't love yourself, if you don't believe in yourself. Yes, here you go. Yeah. Here you go. That's the, that's the most important. That's the message. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. take it you love yourself? No. <laughs> We all love you. No, I, I certainly do love you for, for wanting to have this conversation with me. I, I realized I never had an interview with you before in no. all my, my career of can interviewing. Have some water this you can have some, some more water. water. Oh, we're done, right? uh, yeah, we're, we're finishing up. Uh, how was the cake? The cake was fantastic. I want to try one of, keep a little bit of yours. Yeah, go ahead. You know, you know, yes. This pistache? This pistache cream, yeah. You gotta have a little bit of this buttercream. Well, actually, oh, actually, oh, it's nice. <laughs> it is. Oh, but, oh, I'll get wow, you. I'll get oh, you wow. piece. Uh, I'll deliver a piece to your house. Uh, no, I'm because I'm now. Uh, oh well, you're you're, you're fit. Yeah, I'm fit. I'm training now. So you're for, not supposed to eat this. No, I'm good. Oh yeah. I'm training now you, for a half, half marathon From for where? Berlin. Oh Berlin. April the third. You're gonna go with the group with the Pata running team. We're gonna go, and we wanna try to run. Um, sub 130 so that means uh, a half a marathon and the time has to be one hour 29 minutes and 59 seconds oh so under an hour under an hour and a half and uh if if you've ever been on a on a on a treadmill it's number 13.3 for 20 oh, okay for 21 k's yeah, you're it's better a, than me. It's a um, lot. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lot. It's a I, lot. I, I once, when you first started Pata Running Team, yeah. was wondering, should I try join? and do this? You can always and it join. Never, it never, you can always join. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I can't even run one mile and without this, uh, without it, my it, tongue on the it, ground. It, it is, it, you know, you just start. I would start, have to start from scratch. Start from scratch. Start but still. From scratch. Scratch. I literally can run to your house and back and I'm already tired. I'm already that, tired. That's one yeah. K though. That's one K yeah. problem. Oh, that is one K? I think so, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe less even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's not for me, but I support everything that Pata does. Obviously, Thank I support you. everything that you and, and your whole team do. Um, and as much as you've always supported me, yeah. um, I'm part of it. I'm here for yeah. it. And um, thank you again for this conversation. Thank, thank you. It. Always a pleasure. Let's uh, yeah. when I, so after the April, let's have a drink again because we yes. drink. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, still yeah. drinking the thing, Jack Honey? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. When I drink, I do drink my honey jack. Yeah, you already know. You already know. Uh, yeah, only on occasions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, All right, don't. cool. Yeah, I'm, hit me up. All I'm right, definitely. thank you. Do you? Yeah, oh, do you have any shout outs for anybody? Or well, shout you shout out. out everybody already. We already shout out everybody. You know, thanks for all the support, all the love. Uh, you know, got That's love it. for all. Yeah, say it for real. Uh, Thank you for the sneaker yakas over here. Yeah. You know, they have a nice office, man. How, yeah. do, how do they do that? They have a nice office here in your church. I don't know. Fuck, man. I don't know. I don't know how they That's do it. Ask so, these yeah. motherfuckers, man. <laughs> no, it's always great. Yeah, to, we're going to do that here. off the record. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Thank thanks you. Thanks, everybody.